she doing here? Matron? Come on, let's see what she wants. You wouldn't deny me the chance to witness such a joyous occasion, would you? Hmm? Mr. Cramble? Let, let's not spoil their day. She's not coming, is she? Tell everyone to go home, Ned. That's all right. Are you sure about that? Bridesmaid. That should be me. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. No thanks. Congratulations. It's nice Winterson. This is Clark now. Congratulations. Matron. Well, I never thought I'd see your pitiless face again. Now there's a warm welcome for an old friend. Friend, Matron. After your misdemeanors, I ought to ask, are you here to swindle or deceive? Oh, Mr. Cranbourne, I'm a changed woman with a changed heart. You ought to have faith. I have done my time. Surely that is justice. We've all moved on with our lives now. Even matron. Thank you, Hetty. Moving on is what life is all about, surely. Hmm? Mind your facts. Grub's coming through. Sheila? Turns out there's an opening as a cook. Here? I thought you couldn't wait to get out of this place. Well, found ladies need me a lot more than rich people in a big house. With them. And I won't have Agnes nagging in my ear. Hetty? Hetty? Harriet's about to throw the bouquet. Oh, here, wait for me! <laughs> and me! Come on, Aggie. I don't need to. You didn't know are engaged. Oh, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, you lot. One beside the other. Otherwise, you'll be disqualified. This isn't a football match. Button it. Three, two, one. Me? I'm next up the aisle. Oh, Donald. <laughs> Everyone, friends, old and new, on behalf of my wife and I. <laughs> what are you up to? That belongs to Harriet. Put it back. You heard me. This, Hetty. This is my last chance for a new start. And I think that will be better for everyone, don't you? What about Harriet? How is she supposed to get back to America? Mr. Callender will help out. He owes you, after all. Then go. And quickly, I'll put things right with Harriet. You are a good person, you know that. Never lose it. Farewell, fellow. It had been the perfect day. But like all good times, it had to come to an end. 
Sometimes it was easier to slip away rather than say goodbye. Hetty! But this wasn't one of them. Where are you going? I need to see my mother. Of course you do. I promise you'll write to us from... Bigna. It's by the coast if you want to visit. Just try stopping us. <laughs> you take care of yourself. And give our love to Ida. I will. We'll send you a postcard from New York. Take care, Hetty. Um, wherever did Matron go? I don't know, but I don't think she'll be coming back. had a future. Everyone deserves a second chance and I hoped she'd make the best of it. Get moving! As for me, I didn't know what my future was, but I wasn't going to be shaped by my past. I'd remember the fun, of course, the adventures, and the sadness too. My friends would always be part of me. But now, there was a new adventure to be had, with my mother, and a whole new story to tell. My story, the life of Hetty Feather.